Welcome back to Gastronomic. I got a fun one for you today. Today's video is sponsored by Grillmasters Club. Grillmasters Club is a subscription based box that is sent to you monthly. Inside is different seasonings and spices and barbecue sauces, typically from award winning barbecue enthusiasts. They even include a recipe, and then there's a Facebook page where you can share your recipes online with other barbecue enthusiasts and people that are on the subscription. This box came with two spice rubs, one called SPG and the other called Hogwaller, a peach barbecue sauce, and a chili seasoning kit. I actually used them all. Follow along and see what I made. First up, I'm going to roast the chicken, and I'm going to test out the SPG rub. Now the SPG rub stands for salt, pepper, and garlic, and it's their combination of the three ingredients. It actually turned out really good. I enjoyed it. I have actually used this again a couple nights prior to this on some steaks. <music> I roasted this bird at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour and 20 minutes. Turned out really good. All right, my next dish with Grillmasters Club is gonna be a 24 hour sous vide short rib set. I'm gonna use the Hogwaller seasoning. It's actually a pork seasoning, but I'm going to try it on the beef. It's got some spice to it. Not too spicy. Extremely flavorful and it went really well with the ribs. I went pretty heavy on the seasoning before I vacuum sealed the ribs. I set my immersion circulator for 160 degrees Fahrenheit and I let these go for 24 hours. Check out that color. It almost looks like they've already been seared or grilled. Now time to get these babies out of the bags dry them off a little bit and take them outside to my hot grill. I only kept them on the grill for a couple minutes on each side. I just wanted some char to get that outside grill flavor. Thank you. 
Here's a shot of my new dog. He's a standard poodle, nine weeks old, still hasn't had people food yet, so he doesn't really know what's going on. He just likes his dog food. So these ribs came out cooked and tender, but not as tender as I would have liked. If you remember, I cooked these at 160 degrees for 24 hours. I'd probably bump that up to about 180 degrees for the same amount of time. You'll get more of a pulled pork consistency. I had to try out that peach barbecue glaze on these ribs and it was delicious. For my final recipe with the Grill Masters Club subscription box, I'm going to make the chili using the Texas Chili Seasoning Kit they sent. I really enjoyed using this chili seasoning kit. It was loaded with flavor and not too spicy. Of course, I had to roll out some cornbread because what's chili without cornbread? I want to thank you for watching this episode of Gastronomic and also to let you know that it was a ton of fun cooking with those spices and rubs and barbecue sauces sent by Grill Masters Club. You should give it a try. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.